In Informatica Developer, create a profile on a data source when you want to discover and analyze all data anomalies. You can use profiles to find hidden data problems across data sources that put projects at risk. If you look at the Object Explorer view, you can see that there is a samples project in the repository. We will run a profile on the customer underscore central flat file data source. Right click the customer underscore central flat file data object and then select profile. You can choose whether the developer tool runs the profile immediately after you finish creating it or later. In this demo, we will accept the default option. To quickly create a profile that runs on all columns and rows, you can click Finish or click Next to configure additional profile options. In this demo, we want to configure a few profile options before we run the profile. Click Next. We will now configure the data inference options of the profile. You can select the columns you want to run the profile on. All columns are selected for the profile run by default. We will exclude the gender column from the profile run. Click Filter. Now you can create a filter so that you can run a profile on a subset of the original data source. Click Add. You can view the advanced filter option in the wizard. You can use advanced filters on flat file sources. When you create a profile on a relational data source, you can also create an SQL filter that creates SQL queries based on the WHERE clause you enter in the filter editor. Click Next. Enter a name for the filter. You can make the filter active when you create it or you can activate it later. In this demo, we will accept the default option. Click Next. You can use functions and columns to specify filter conditions. Click the Columns tab. You can see all of the source columns from the customer underscore central data source. The data source contains customer data from many states. We want to create a filter to run the profile on customers from Texas. You can enter an expression in the editor on the right to define the filter condition. You can validate the expression to verify the filter condition. When you click finish, the expression editor validates the expression automatically. You can see that the expression is valid. Now we will review the sampling options for the profile. Click Sampling Options. You can choose to run the profile on all rows in the data source or a subset starting from the first row. In this demo, we will run the profile on the first 500 rows. Click Finish. The profile appears in the editor. Click the results view and then select a column to discover characteristics of the data in the column. Notice that when we select a column, the profile results include the value frequency for data in the column. There are many duplicates for some of the customer numbers. Notice that the profile results include the unique and null values, their percentages and inferred data types. You can also view the patterns and statistics for the data in the column by selecting each option from the drop-down. That completes this demo. To summarize, we created a profile on a flat file data source, selected the columns to run the profile on, added a filter, configured the sampling options, and then ran the profile. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, 
email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.